Aloha once again, peeps. <clears throat> Spinach. Holdovers from the winter. Got a kale there. Got a... I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a... Turnip, but I don't know. Not exactly clear about it. <laughs> and over here we've <clears throat> got some more spinach. So spinach is the main thing growing on right now in the garden. We've got a bunch of seed trays <clears throat> going that are starting to pop here and there. We've got a melon or two. Uh, anyway, today we're going to talk more about XRP, which is pumping right now because the lawsuit is all but over and we won like we knew we would and uh, had a request of somebody wanting me to talk more about lobster and all that so let me get my camera rig set up here and let's get into it all right let's jump right into lobster it's an app that you download from the App Store. From what I'm understanding, it's gonna be the digital stock market. And you can get <clears throat> commodities really, really cheap. But the best thing really about it, or one of the one of the benefits of it is that every day you get free assets. Like every morning and every night, I spend about 15 minutes doing nothing but downloading all the free assets that I'm being offered. And I've got like 360 different assets on Lobster now. <clears throat> all right. To, so you, you set up your account. Just like you do any other app where you set up an account. The little bit tricky part is funding it. And my suggestion, and it may be just the way you have to do it, I'm not sure, but basically this whole system is going to run through XLM or on the XLM blockchain. So it stands to reason that you're going to need an XLM wallet <clears throat> to attach to your Lobster account so that you can then fund your account. You may be able to buy XLM directly from Lobster, but I, I didn't do that. But I think you can. So you, it, it, what I'm saying is you to buy anything on Lobster you don't use fiat money, you use XLM. So you have to find a way to fund your account, <clears throat> whether that's directly buying it through the account or attaching a wallet, but I think you have to attach a wallet. So what wallet could you, or a DEX, a wallet or a DEX. A DEX is a decentralized exchange. An example of that would be Scopuli. So I already had, <clears throat> excuse me, I already had Scopuli set up. So when I set up my Lobster account, I just attached Scopuli, which is an XLM DEX. And essentially it does the same thing that Lobster does. It, You can see all the same assets. It's like a mirrored... Uh, Dex, I guess. <clears throat> so anyway, as soon as I attached my scopuli to Lobster, then everything in Lobster saw everything that I had in scopuli. So it knew how much XLM I had. It saw all my other assets. And I can do the exact same thing in either one scopuli or lobster 
<clears throat> I like the look of lobster better than the other one. And the other one was a little frustrating for me for a while because there's just no place to ask questions and there's no place to get help. So you're literally kind of on your own to figure out how everything works. <clears throat> but over time, I've figured it out for the most part. And um, so they basically do the same thing. You can buy the assets. You can uh, accept the payments. Once again, the free coins that I'm offered every single day. I can do it either on Lobster or on Scopuli. And Scopuli is S-C-O-P-U-L-Y. Lobster is L-O-B-S-T-R. If you're going to download either one of those. <clears throat> So that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it sounds simple enough, but it when you're new and you don't know what you're doing and you can't ask any questions, it's a little bit intimidating to get it all set up. But I got it all set up. I've made some purchases. Like I said, you can get assets. I've got Kodak. I've got all kinds of stuff. Tesla, Medbed, Trump Coin, True Social gold of there's many different gold coins there there's quite a few different companies you can do a search i've got some iota on there i've got some xdc on there and again these are uh iso 20022 coins protocol 19 is close i believe to being implemented maybe even this weekend apparently from what i'm hearing also that the regular stock market is closed for four days now it's closed on the weekends anyway but thursday friday today saturday and sunday so i think there's and there's just been a lot of talk in the in the the back channels that this might be the weekend that nasara jasara is is really implemented fully and, and kind of rolled out in a more substantial way. I'm really hoping that's true. Uh, XRP had another win with the courts. Now the judge has basically told the corrupt, worthless SEC that they will provide the documents, the emails, the Hinman emails that basically it would prove to the world how corrupt the SEC is, and it would probably pull them into further litigations and lawsuits. So they're not gonna they're not gonna provide those papers no matter what, because it would be a real big problem for them if they did. So that means what? That means settlement. So within the next 90 days or less, the XRP SEC lawsuit's completely going to go away. XRP is going to come out the winner. We're already pumping as a result of this news. So the news is spreading. If you didn't get in XR XRP by now or already, it's just going to be more expensive as we go forward. XLM, I call the sister of XRP. When XRP moves, XLM moves. XLM is, I think, 21 cents at the moment. XRP's hovering just under 80 cents. So if you can't afford, you know, 80 cents a coin for XRP, maybe you can afford 21 cents a coin for XLM and just know that when XRP blasts off, XLM is going to blast off as well. So it's like a double payment. We're going we're gonna to be able to, to get a double dose from those two beauties. All right. Uh, as far as the future of crypto goes, if assets are not... If digital assets are not backed up by hard assets, they're not going to really be around. That's my understanding. Maybe you could say that's my opinion. Fine. But I would focus on the ISO 
20022 coins because those are all going to be hard asset backed digital currencies. Bitcoin is not going to be backed by any kind of uh, asset that I know of. XLM is not going to be, and I think X, I'm, I'm sorry, not XLM, uh, Ether. So Bitcoin might survive this and still be around, but once you realize and figure out <clears throat> that it's real energy inefficient to use Bitcoin. Bitcoin really doesn't do anything whatsoever except it's a store of value. It's slow and it's very expensive. So if you had a choice between that or something like XRP or XLM, why would you go with a more expensive, slower, clunkier asset? So since they promote <clears throat> Bitcoin all the time everywhere in the mainstream and Ether, <clears throat> then those are the ones that most of the herds and the masses know about. And so they figure, well, that must be the one. But again, you have to look at the utility of these assets. What do they do? How do they function? Are they scalable? So on and so forth. And Bitcoin and Ethereum, especially Ethereum, have some probably some big troubles and problems coming in the future related to the unethical way that they were implemented the fact that the way ether was put out there was definitely uh, a secure it makes it a security all right so don't we know how these cultists operate by now they do the evil and then they project that evil that they're doing onto someone or something else and try to get them to take the fall for it. So the the ether people were <clears throat> projecting onto XRP that XRP was a security. When XRP did every single thing it's ever done in the clear, open, blue sky for everybody to see above and bored about everything. And then they get told no you're a security we're going to sue you when the fact and the truth is no ether is the security or, or was put out there as a security when it was first being put out there <clears throat> so they just projected it the sec of course you know bought in to ether and all that and <clears throat> probably bitcoin because anything the mainstream matrix is pumping or pushing or promoting is always something that they've already gotten in ahead of you on <clears throat> and so they're just going to profit off you not really knowing and so so goes the story so people just didn't know enough about all this and <clears throat> luckily you know if you didn't make the mistakes or you didn't buy into these I mean, you can always trade the assets out for others, especially if you're not down. That's the problem. If you buy in and then it goes down and you're in the red, you don't want to sell then. So you never lose any money. You never lose at this game unless you sell at a loss. So just don't do that. Don't sell at a loss. Well, what if it never goes back up? Well, then you, you got a problem. So you must have bought something that isn't very good right so <clears throat> if it never goes back up you never get a chance to sell and at least maybe you could break even or maybe you <coughs> excuse me could sell at a less of a loss right but and i've got uh i think three ethereum related tokens so all of all the tokens that i have now i'm not talking about lobster now i'm talking about in other places like on uh, coinbase you're you're more limited on coinbase you know they don't offer stocks or what essentially what are stocks even though these are not stocks on lobster but they're digital assets but th essentially they're the same thing as stocks you're buying in shares of a company right so on coinbase you're more limited with 
what is offered to you and most and the majority of what's there seems to me to be ethereum related coins and all you got to do to find that out is is scroll below the coin after you do a search on it or after you're on that coin scroll down below and it'll tell you you know uh uh, I'm trying to think on one of the coins, <clears throat> whichever, it doesn't matter. It'll say, this is an Ethereum token that does this, blah, 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 and tells you about it. All right, but it'll tell you right off the bat, this is an Ethereum token. So I bought into, I think, three, maybe four Ethereum tokens that were in the penny range. So we're talking one, two, three, four, five, six cent coins. Just just to kind of take a gamble with some cheaper price coins in the penny range because if they go up 10 cents 20 cents or to a dollar well you i did real good right but i'm not holding my breath and i'm not holding out a lot of hope and matter of fact if i get back because i'm down on those coins right now i'm in the red well the whole market's kind of in the red except for xrp <clears throat> and sologenic which is an xrp blockchain token uh, I was noticing that last night. It seemed to me all the XRP-related coins are kind of up while everything else is down. And that's probably because of the good news about the SEC and it's starting to pump and all that. So, <clears throat> so that's just, that's the way I'm rolling with it. You do whatever you want. This is not financial advice, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? But I'm avoiding Ethereum tokens i would never buy into any more of them than the four that i did uh same with bitcoin i'm not getting no rap bitcoin i'm not getting any kind of bitcoin i've got somebody out there that's really into bitcoin and you know who you are and you're my buddy and i i i hope you know i don't mind bitcoin so much but i think it's cia created honestly i think the cia created it and so that tells you everything you need to know <clears throat> if that's true, if that come, it turns out to be true. And I think it's, we're not far away from finding out about all the corruption. I mean, look, it's just coming from every direction. The Hunter laptop, the, the Gislaine, the, the Sotomayor, the, all these people, all this stuff. It's all coming out, coming out, coming out. And I think all that's going to come out too. So the safest play, if you're new to this, the safest play would be buy into ISO ISO two two zero zero two two two. Sorry, too many twos. <laughs> uh, coins because those are going to be asset backed, and those basically, in a nutshell, the five off the top of the head: XRP, XLM, XDC. IOTA, Algorand, possibly Cardano. And that would be like if you're on a mainstream exchange like Coinbase. The other good play, no-brainer play, is to get you a Lobster account set up and just start collecting the free coins. Every day you will get hundreds of free digital assets offered to you and then if you want them you click on it and you say accept and it puts it into your account and you if you wish you could buy in more of those coins you could go search around i mean there's hundreds the 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 thing that's a little bit challenging is there's so dang many coins and there's so many assets it's hard to know which ones are legit or not you know are they letting non-legit coins into that space i don't know are they letting copycatters come in and mimic a real coin you know i don't know i don't know but the you're not going to lose but a few dollars you know if you're getting a, a, a thousand coins for 50 cents or a dollar and it turns out it was a it was a some bull crap well you're only out 50 cents or a dollar right and if you spent 50 cents or a dollar on the legitimate one and it turns out to be the real thing and later it's revalued at a much higher price than 
a thousand for 50 cents well you're going to be real happy with that but <clears throat> i'm sure you can do more research on each coin you could really deep dive into it uh, i don't have that kind of time right now and like i said if you're taking free coins they're free so you're not even if some of them turn out to be not legit you didn't lose anything they were free so <clears throat> that's about it that's that's what i can tell you about it um a little intimidating for new newbies i get it if you have questions or if you're trying to do it you know put them in the comments and i'll answer as best i can i've got a friend of mine that's supposed to be coming by today that wants me to help him get his lobster set up. And he's working through Uphold, which I, I don't have Uphold. I've never used Uphold. The wife has Uphold, but I don't have it and I don't use it, so I'm not familiar with it. But it, really all it is is just jumping through the hoops, you know. Do You have to do the things they're asking you to do in order to get your account verified and set up. So... You'll get a confirmation emails, you'll get, you know, texted codes that you got to put in the right, you know, all that stuff. <clears throat> but that's just kind of normal until they get everything kind of integrated and working together seamlessly and real smoothly and easily. Then that's kind of the way it is. But it's, it's not that bad. And once you get it all set up and everything, that's it. You're done. Now you're just sitting back and collecting your coins and <clears throat> doing your thing. So everything's on the world geopolitical scene is going great. The Azov Battalion is all but crushed. Russia has just smashed the deep state in Ukraine. I don't know, you know, how many of you listen to fake news or were duped by the fake news narrative about Ukraine and Russia, but Russia's doing a great thing, wonderful thing. They've done a wonderful job, and they've literally found dumbs with thousands and thousands of children, some of them hybrids, in these underground facilities. And their first goal when they started this was to denazify Ukraine and then they switched that goal to say basically save the children because they realize how prolific and how disgusting the deep state rat bastards are with cloning children hybridizing children and and trafficking them all across the world through Ukraine and these other deep state places, including D.C. and what they found underneath the freaking White House. That's why the White House is vacant. That's why that it's going to be demolished. There's The White House is never going to be the White House again. It's going to be demolished. They're going to turn that entire area back into a literal swamp. And it's going to be what it was before all that crap was put there. It's going to be a bird refuge, a wildlife bird refuge. And it's going to sound like what you're hearing right now. Wouldn't it be great to hear this, where that corrupt, worthless, satanic building used to be? Knowing what they were doing underneath that with the stolen money that they stole from the U.S. citizens. That's the sound of healing. That's the sound of peace. That's the sound of unity. That's the sound of Mother Earth cheering us all on. You will be victorious. You will come out of bondage. You will be free.
Love, unity, and light. Until next time, my beautiful friends and family.